Now today we study the virtual work and D'Alembert principle. Now let us consider a rigid body. The work done by the ith particle. of the rigid body is if we consider here by the notation wi is equal to summation over j f of ij dot dri for here i is not equals to j where DRI is the displacement and FIJ is constraint force on the ith particle due to jth particle now if you are taking it equation number one and it is noticeable that here we here consider a rigid body and use work done by ith particle of the rigid body that is given by wi equals to sum of this quantity and now dri stands for the displacements and fij the constant force of ith particle due to jth particle and here it is noticeable that we ignore the self forces That means f of i i. This is a self forces which will be ignored. Now considering all the particles of the rigid body. all the particle of rigid body will take summation over i in equation 1 we get the total work done w equals to sum of i w i that means if we are putting the value of substituting the value of w i equals to sum of this quantity so summation i and summation j f of i j dot DRI taking it equation number 2 
now interchanging into and exploiting Newton's third law we get f i j is equal to minus of f j i therefore W plus W equals to sum of I sum of J F I J if we are taking it F J I that is summations of R J we know already that is W J and summation of R J that is F J I is equal to D R I minus DRJ therefore twice W equals to sum of I sum of J F of I J dot is a vector quantity DRI and DRJ therefore we get W equals to half of summation I summation J f of i j dot taking it equation number here we get equation number 2 and here we get equation number 3 now for a digit body for a digit body Since the distance between two particles is fixed, so we have mod of r i minus r j is equal to constant therefore we can write it as a property r i minus r j square is equal to constant taking differentiation on both sides that's on differentiation we have twice of r i minus r j into d r i minus d r j equals to derivative of constant equals to zero so from the third law if i j acts as r i choosing r i minus r j which is the directions then from Newton's third law if i j
acts closing ri minus rj which is in the direction of direction along the line joining the particle i and j therefore from 3 w equals to 0 it is clear its direction is 0 and it will be 0 and so the total work done by the force of constraints in a rigid body is zero then the total work done by the forces of bilateral constants in virtual displacement is zero. There is a exploit is exploited by the principle of virtual work stated below. That means we invoke the concept of virtual displacement the word virtual has underlying the meaning of no passage of real time is involved during the displacement taken in other words we freeze the system at a certain point of time and think of virtual displacement del ri for i equals to one two dot 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 that are consistent with the conditions of the constant instead of the real ones dr dri some arbitrary is of course involved in the choice of the direction of del ri this exploited by the principle of virtual work stated below now which one is the virtual work done is actually the total total work done by the forces a bilateral constraint in a virtual displacement is zero that is del w c taking virtual point constant forces that is sum of j equals to 1 to up to n f j c that is constant forces into virtual displacement that is del r j that will be zero taking it equation number four and the now from The equations of motions we have this from Newton's second law
that is m r i double dot equals to f i that is called applied forces and here it is f i c that is called constraint forces now taking both side by the virtual displacement that is taking the form of virtual displacement we have sum of i equals to 1 to up to n m r i double dot del r i is equal to sum of i equals to 1 to up to m if I applied forces dot del R I plus sum of I equals to 1 to up to N if I constraint forces del R I therefore it is clear from the result of equation for constraint force already zero therefore we have summation i equals to 1 to up to m f i applied forces minus m i del r i double dot into del r i sorry m r i double dot into del r i equals to 0 taking it equation number 5 and this 5 is the dr number principle is represents D Alambert principle that means which asserts the work done by the applied forces along with the work done by the internal sorry work done by the inertial forces in a virtual displacement is zero work done by the applied forces along with the work done by the inertial forces in a virtual displacement is zero it's clear from these equations now we end the classes today